Hello there everyone, it's uh, well you know who I am, the man with too many names and can't decide on his name, you give five, give him one, whatever. Anyways, I was just looking at the scoreboard to show it's a full game, and uh, usually whenever I play Warzone, I'll just say you know this is Lente Missile Base, uh, it's a new map from the, from the Ash Map Pack, it's a really good map. It gets really chaotic and fun and crazy, and anyways, usually whenever I start a uh, map, uh, and whenever I start a game, in Whenever I start a war zone in Kill Zone 3, I usually play as a tactician so I can capture at least a TSP. Really quickly, this is my first time this map because this game plays really old. But uh, it got a really good score in my opinion, and uh, I wasn't really sure about the map, so there will be sometimes where I look like a, a freaking idiot. But this gameplay was really good, so I had to use it. So, anyways, this bottom TSP that I'm capturing right now, it's a really good TSP because it's near the. Uh, the uh, search and retrieve, and I think both TSPs in this game are uh, balanced well. They each have their own advantages. Although I think the top TSP, this one here, you know, the little area that the guy popped, that I say guy popped up from, that place I believe in my opinion has a better TSP. Uh, and for I think a few minutes right now, I'm gonna try to capture the TSP here because you know I just want to capture all the TSPs and make the game better, but. In my opinion, this TSP is better, so whenever you start the match, you should go, uh, you should go here, usually when you just walk right out of your, uh, base, you just go up this, you, you like, walk out, and then you'll see, like, some, uh, stairs, and you just go up, and you'll get to some more stairs, and that's what the TSP is. The map's actually fairly small, but it's, in my opinion, it's balanced well, and, you know, really plays well, and it really gives, sort of, you know, kills on that chaotic feel that kills on should have. Um, let's see. So, uh, there's a new patch coming out that's really, like bringing a bunch of tweaks to the gameplay. The Marksman's, uh, scramble ability, uh, is now an active ability. So, the, like, kind of like recon, which is like, so that I, so the tactician can see, you know, enemy players with little crosshair thingies. The hell get, the Marksman scramble perk now has to be activated. So I think, you know, that's a nice little nerf to the Marksman Canal. It's either they get show up on the radar, or they don't show up on the radar. Although I have heard that even if the Marksman is Scramble Plus, Recon is Null and Void, which in my opinion doesn't make sense, but I don't know, I haven't really looked, so... If I find out about that, I'll let you guys know my next video, which is going to be an old Rack Academy video. And I'm not going to lie, but in that video I was uh, terrible as the assassination target, because I was... But, well, you know, you'll see then. And anyway, so yes, and then also it makes engineer turrets uh, have 30% more armor, but they still can be destroyed by a missile, which I think is a nice uh, uh, buff. Because engineer turrets and also they rotate faster and track better. Because engineer turrets are retarded as hell. I'm not gonna lie. They're stupid. Sometimes, and they're really slow and don't do the job well. But I think with this uh, patch, they become more useful, and so, you know, instead of having to just shoot. Like, you know, I usually do so I can save that missile launcher, shoot the enemy and get 50 points extra. I, you know, it most likely will make me want to just shoot the turret and get out of the way before it kills me. So there will be less missile spam. So yeah, it's a 30% more armor, but it's still destroyed by a missile or a grenade in one hit. And then uh, the SDA2 battle pistol, that's also getting a buff. It's going to be, uh, I think, uh, the... I can't remember what it said. I, think, I just know that the grenade is going to be stronger and have a better range and blast radius. And then I think also they're going to, uh, I think it's just better, basically better range and everything. So anyways, as you know, as I said earlier, I'm just trying to capture that top TSP. We bo lost both the TSPs. Because I was trying to capture this top one because I wanted to get them all. Um, and then also in the match, also in the patch, they, uh, and there's no more need for six axis controls. They got rid of that, I mean, I mean it's kind of late for that, it doesn't really make any sense, but they got rid of it, so it's better late than ever. And then in Rally Academy, they're going to have a uh, projector that was supposed to be really in the map. You, if you saw like the trailer for the Rally Academy map, there was a projector there, but for some reason, I never noticed, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> that it, it wasn't in there. But they brought that back, and also the map name is going to be finally on the menu screen, which probably isn't really helpful now, but I guess for, you know, since due to the PS3, uh, 
price reduction and the fact that Killing 3 has been selling more. And, uh, so I think that, you know, it's a good patch for new people so they can be able to understand and associate with maps better. Because, you know, I basically know, like, the, ma the map when I see the layout of it. But, you know, it's a nice thing. And also the match uh, start times. And, uh, like, you know, at the end of a round, I think it's like 60 seconds you have to wait for the next match to start. They reduce it down to 45 seconds. Thank God. And then they also reduce the wait time and start a match for the match to start from 30 seconds to 20 seconds. Well, the match make the new patch is really going to add a bunch of things, and it actually is going to, by the time anyone sees this video, probably, it's going to launch uh, today. So that's going to be cool. And, you know, here, just, just basically me capturing the TSP. I let my team. Uh, go and uh, capture the area. I let my team go ahead and try to capture this, uh, try to do the other objective. And we did. Right now, I stopped being the tactician because I, I was getting tired and wanted to have some, uh, I wanted to have some more fun, but I also wanted to return the speaker. Uh, and not return the speaker, but retrieve the speaker because it gives uh, a much, you know, because the speaker when you turn it gives like 500 points. I want that 500 points. And uh, I have actually maxed out my infiltrator so he has the missile launcher now, so I don't really use the battle pistol. But maybe with the new patch, I'll try it out to see if it's any different. Uh, the right over there where I was shooting just like two seconds ago, this side is where the speaker, where the delivery part for the speaker is for the ISA, and on the on, and on the other side is the Hellgas. That's why that that TS, that TSP, the bottom one I captured at the beginning, main use is just to capture that area is just to make search and retrieve much easier because you know if the thing drops the and the hell gas can just you know hell gas or ISIS can just easily take it. Uh, so I switch up so that's why I switch up from for the tactician to infiltrate basically I want to try to I want to play a different class and try to also mainly do the objective. Oh yeah that reminds me in uh actually in uh war zone oh yes in war zone for kill zone three they're gonna make the patch you're going to make it with the pancakes, you get more points for objectives. They haven't uh, described much about it, but I assume that instead of like, you know, instead of maybe like 500 points, maybe like 700 points, and capture and hold the area will be more. I think maybe they should make, I hope that they also make tactical spawn areas more points, because I think that would make people want to go for more thinking. I mean, because honestly, it's like only 100 points, and it's so much effort to get it. But if it was like, you know, 200 points to neutralize and 200 points to capture it, or even 200 points to capture it, Ah, uh, you know, I'm sure more people, even me, would be more willing to do it. And I really don't know how I died there. And earlier, I was busy ranting. Earlier, you saw I was right near the search and achieve area, and then I got killed. And I didn't land. I really hate when that happens. I'm not gonna lie. I hate that. It really pisses me off. Like, at least kill me beforehand so I don't get as aggravated. But when I'm right next to him, you kill me as an infiltrator. That pisses me off. <sighs> See if I can think of anything to say real quick. I watched this video so I could be a little more organized beforehand because this video was also really old. And uh, as you can see, my score is pretty good. I mean, it's only been one match, so it's only been like what eight minutes in the game. Got three thousand points in my opinion. That's really good. And not just that, not just like in my opinion, but just in, for me in general, that's really good. Usually, I have like a terrible KDR, like in third, fourth place because. I, I'm not a very good shooter in this game, and I usually uh, just go and die for objectives a million times in a rush for the objectives. I like to see, think of myself as like a meat bag for the enemy, while the better players kill them while they kill me. Ah. Uh, um. One thing I just want to let people know, if you're a medic and you have the medic ability, honestly, because I've started to notice a lot recently, and I've abused it, I'm not going to lie, is like, if you're the medic, do you think you're the medic, uh, get back up ability? For all of the good, do not get back up, especially in, uh, Google of War, excuse me, especially in Google of War, do not get up unless you know that it close is clear. Because I know people will just spawn back and I will literally stand, like, right behind a pillar, like, two feet. And I'm sure the camera lets them see me and then I'll just, like, sneak up and shoot them with my shotgun or whatever the heck I'm using. So uh, recently I've, uh, yeah, recently I've uh, been trying to use a shotgun because I wanted to improve on my sniping. I'm not really a sniper, but I thought to try to improve a little. And I, uh, to me, I thought shotgun and sniper are kind of similar in a sense. There's, you know, sniper is really only good for long range, and a shotgun is only good for uh, short range. And when you use it, and when you use a shotgun, you know, because you have to use a shotgun in a similar fashion because 
you have to, sh you know, you have like one shot, and if you miss an enemy, you'll probably see where you are. Your cloak is sort of gone in a sense, but if you're the infiltrator or tactician, you know, you kind of let the enemy know I'm here. Ah. Uh, Oh, it's assassination now, and uh, usually a lot of people hide here, but I'm not really sure about better spot, but this is the best spot because, especially if you have the TSA, uh, because this is where the top TSA is, the one I try to capture second after the first one, uh, near the bomb area, I'm trying to be as descriptive as I can. Uh, that TSA, that TSA is actually above this area, and you can just like come down a ladder and kill the enemy. See, when I stood up there, okay, that was different because no enemy was near and I was trying to make sure that the target stayed alive. Which should be your main duty. Do not revive anyone else. Only revive the target. Because you never know when enemy could just pop up, sneak, and like shoot the target or blow up the target and you can come there and just like revive them. I was just, you know, just then I was just checking to see if maybe he was hurt. Because I'm the medic. I have, I have the medic fully upgraded now, I believe. So I went up there and try to shoot him off. This was close. I tried to mean the guy didn't work, but luckily he didn't do too much damage. As you see, some guy figured out to use the thing there. Now that was a close call, man. He got shot with a missile right there. I wonder if he got killed killed. Like, you know, if he blew up and he couldn't be revived killed. Because if so, that was the closest match ever. But as you can see, if when you have a TSP, you can just go down and just you just go down those ladders and you'll get it. Now, this part, this part, I, I'm really ashamed. I wish I could edit it out, but I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. This is the worst. I did this. Is, I'm just so stupid. <laughs> I tried to go to the assassination area, which is in the same area I was, but for some reason, which I really can't remember, and I wish I knew better, I could not get to the assassination area for like the whole, for like the whole entire thing. I don't even know. Well, I couldn't because I got down there before, but I guess it was different because I was following the guy. Because this is literally like, the first time I played the map. Um, I mean, it's a little difficult to try to find out where the holes are, but when you use the, you know, the underground, there's a, uh, when you spawn on your, uh, uh, base, you know, the actual base you spawn at the very beginning game, you just literally just like run straight and get down to the giant underground area. Or as you can see here in the where that I'll, sh I'll show you when I get there. But it's near the search and destroy objectives. There's like a ladder and you can also get down there quickly. See, I'm just trying to find some sort of hole and uh, hope find this hole quickly. Now this part, I'm not gonna lie, I was really dumb. I was just trying to sneak in there real quickly. And I only tried to ride that guy because the meter was full, so I thought it was over. Now this is what really pissed me off. See, his name was Michi01. Look who dies, Michi01 and his two bodyguards. Sure, I got a lot of points, but I would've got a lot more points if I killed assassination target, and my team would've won. It just pissed me off, really. I was so angry at myself. But on the public side, I think it's 700 points. Let's, let's think about that. Oh, so anyways, it's captured the hole now. So, uh, right now, I, usually when I play the game, I play uh, the classes that are best for the objective, like example, Tactician is good for the beginning of the game to get the TSA, and then uh, for Captain Hold, I you know go to the Tactician. To I switch to the Tactician. Well, usually I do. It. I usually switch to the Tactician to uh, so I can capture the areas faster because I have my Tactician maxed out. So this and this way I can capture the areas faster, and you know, or take them away from the enemies. See, that, that was different. I I knew there was no enemy there, and this is not like. Uh, Guerrilla Warfare or, uh, you know, Team Deathmatch sort of thing. I mean, not the uh, body count. See, I'm going to go to Tactician now. Which, uh, yeah, I said earlier, you know, I've been trying to use a shotgun. This is like, I don't know, this game is like April. No. April, uh, May, so it's about April, May. It's about like four months old this game, but but as you can see, it's really good. I mean, look at my score. Uh, it's like you know five thousand seven, uh, five thousand eight hundred twenty-five points, which is you know what I usually get like I don't know in two games. 
And this is just a one game, and I'm number one on the uh, scoreboard too, which makes me feel extra good. Especially since it was my first time on this map. I guess that was the advantage was that it was everyone's first time on this map. Ah, uh, yeah, just a little thing. If you see the medic bot, you should, in my honesty, you should really destroy them because that thing can get annoying sometimes and kill you for no reason. And it's just aggravating to get killed by the bot. I know that medic will most likely stand up and laugh at you. And as you can see, this game plays all because that was the freezing glitch that, you know, was fixing things like patch 1.1. 10, patch 1.110 or 11 or something was fixed then. Uh, the other cap, just laying on the other cap in the area, there is one also near the second, the bottom PSP where the search and retrieve uh, destination areas are. And then there's also a, uh, then there's one underground near where the, you know, the, the, the half fascination targets hid. Down there, there's one, like, I think just literally right across from the area. You would like, they were, where that ladder was, if you walk straight down to the end of that corridor, which is just like a few feet, that, that's where the other area is. But I was mainly just going for this, that, that area. As you can see here, I'm, uh, I switched the infiltrator so I could plant bombs faster. And I was just trying to shoot an enemy there. As you can see, this map is small and can get really chaotic and fun. And that's what I really like about Killzone is the sort of chaos and you kind of not like, you know, you kind of like feel like you're in a real war because of like grenades, bullets, and you can just hear all the sounds and everything. It looks good too. That's also nice thing. You know, all the sounds and everything. Damn. Wow, 20 minutes flies like that. I mean, I don't know, I feel like I've done this for like 16 minutes. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, this has been the days where I use the medic a lot. I don't really use the medic anymore because I feel like my team sometimes can be full of idiots and so I have to be the sort of, I have to, uh, you know, I do my best to kind of help the team by being a tactician. So, um, I've decided that but re yeah, that's what I've been recently. Before I used to play the medic a lot to help my team. Hope my team would do the work. But sometimes I just uh, do the work and I just become and help. Although sometimes I do change. I've been changing back recently. And uh, I think I have. Uh, wow. I don't know. I still haven't uploaded a really new gameplay. Like I said a few times ago. Uh, a few times in a while. I said a while ago about how I had a. You know, some gameplay where I started to be the engineer. Because if you've been following me before, which I, I believe, which would be nice if you have. But if you haven't, I used to be the uh, engineer. I mean, I used to be, like, usually a full-time medic. And was just a tactician and infiltrator only when necessary for the mission. And then I started to use those classes and more, get used to the guns. But I think most of the time I was really tactician because the capture the tactical spawn areas is really important. So, I used to be the medical op and then I recently you know, then I switched and then now I've uh, mastered the not massive but I've leveled up basically the engineer full and so I've been using off and god that ST-300 is really good I haven't used the M82SE uh, assault rifle for the a medic I don't know I just haven't I just prefer this gun much more but you know I eventually hope to uh, uh, try to use it better and one thing you may have noticed in the match is I attack the Apex a lot because those ATACs can really get annoying sometimes. And they can shoot you from like halfway across the map. So I sometimes spend time just shooting them. Cause, I mean, it's 50 points, shoot them, and everyone wins. And uh, I believe right here is going to be like a really epic uh, sort of struggle power part that really you know, captures what I love the most about the control, crazy control chaos. I think soon. It should be, I hope. Yeah, yeah, this is it, I think. Hold on. Yeah, this is it. You'll see. And I would have done better if Rack didn't get to me. You can see I'm on like a 5 kill streak. It's gonna be a 6 kill streak. This is a assist, but I'm gonna pretend it's a kill. No, I'm just kidding. So it's a 6 kill streak. This is a. I was low on ammo on my other gun. I had no ammo on this gun, so I tried to 
Mainly, guys, see, I nearly that guy. He should have been dead in my opinion. I'm not gonna lie. I, I wish he was dead. Then I got up here and see this is lag, okay? See, I melee him the second time and nothing happened. He meleeed me. I was not on an 8 kill streak technically, man. It's like my best. But you can see right here, this is, you know, if you look, there's an uh, attack system that comes from as you can see, you know, there's gonna be. So, uh, is this the same life? So that's a 9 kill streak, a 10 kill streak, or something like that. It doesn't matter really. You can see here, there's, you know, enemies are still spawning, the tactician is on the catch area, and the two minutes are also helping to, you know, help the tactician by reviving him and making sure he fully the area and defeating and defeating the enemies, and this is where Killzone 3 really shines. This is where people work as a team. So they saw that it worked great. You know, I died a few times, I killed a few people, medics revived me and the tactician, so in that way, you know, we can capture the tactical spawn area fully and make sure the enemy don't have it anymore, even though standing back is in the cabinet. And, uh, I basically think I've exhausted almost every chip I have in Killzone 3. So that sucks. A lot. So now I'm gonna have to find out some new stuff. I guess, uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. I guess I'll have to talk about other games next time. And, uh, um, talk about other games next time, and I guess making, maybe make my, uh, Killzone 3 commentaries more self contained. Instead of, uh, just talking about, you know, random things, you know, just receiving information to random tips, like, make them more focused, I don't give away all my, uh, tips. Uh, yeah, this is, like, near the end of the match, I get, like, I get what I, I get, like, one, yeah, this is the end of the match. Now, there was an enemy, uh, there's an enemy there for some reason, I remember I did not see the enemy, I was like, oh, just, uh, they're just so good guys, they're just so hell gas there. I don't know why I thought that, I just feel really dumb, but... They could got me extra kill. So they just So I don't know. See now I saw him. I thought that was just a good guy. I thought I saw him before. Can't really see well. I lied. I just want to you know, I just want to give you surprise. I just, you know, secretly killed him. So as you can see, you know, it was a really good game. And uh, my score was really good, I think like fifteen thousand and I had like a positive KDR. I think it was like maybe forty kills, five deaths. Something like that. We'll see at the end. I'm just gonna let you know. It may look like we had an unfair advantage at the end, but they were full and they left near the end of the game, okay? Don't take away my victory from me. I need this victory. 50,000 points. And it wasn't even a double XP we can I think. Do not take this from me. I beg you. Please. Anyways, so uh, let me know if you uh, like my commentary. If I uh, went off topic and gave away, you know, too many tips or repeated some of my comments from other matches. Ooh, 4831. So, uh, just let me know if you thought it went on too long. Thank you, bye.